Hi everyone, Tom Greaves here. In this video I'm going to show how to use April tags. April tags are these uh, coded 2D tags. I've got one here in the scene. I'll start uh, mapping. You can see that when we detect an April tag it lights up, turns red. And what April tags are useful for is um, closing loops. They assist the software to close loops. So uh, Phi3D is a good surveyor. It likes to do a traverse, likes to close loops. And uh, April tags assist with that. So I'm going around this room. We've got some April tags in the scene. I'm going to get a couple there. And the idea is to go around the scene, collect the data. There's some shiny ducting. And when we do a full 360 and get back to the start point, which we will in just a second, we'll get back to that original tag. It's recognized. And I'll just save there, finish. Look at the raw data like that. I'm going to set a coordinate system. Not a habit, really. We're going to set Z perpendicular to the floor. We're going to make X perpendicular to this wall. And then we're going to optimize the data. And I'm going to optimize with April tags. So if you're covering large areas and you're concerned about drift, then April tags are very, very useful. You can distribute them uh, throughout the loop that you plan to close, and it will tighten up the data. This looks pretty good, actually. So it's that easy. They're really easy to use. Um, so a good work, workflow is to, to make sure that you do a full 360, or even better, 380. And... Uh, and then just specify the tags uh, to be used, to be recognized, and then used in the optimization. It's that easy.